Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to try and do a new series right here that's going to be built on top of a Scrum introduction series that I'm building together with Trine. So Trine right here is helping me out. She is acting as the customer and uh, she is. Uh, we are together trying to teach Scrum to uh, new users that haven't worked with Scrum before. Uh, actually in this process right here, we actually end up uh, creating a backlog for a product that she wants, which is going to be a hairdresser saloon some kind of uh, landing page to show her products, some kind of uh, way to book these products. And there's actually a lot of work in order to do that. We're going to need some authentication, probably some profile. We're going to need some kind of booking system, some kind of product page. And uh, she needs to kind of be able to edit her products. There's a lot of work in here to build an uh, application like this. So I'm going to grab some of those features and I'm going to try and implement them. Now, I already picked the technologies I wanna use. I wanna use Angular as my front end again. I know I've already made a lot of videos about Angular, so there's a lot of things that will be repeated, but I wanna just show it again and use some of the basic features we need in Angular, like forms, observables, and modules, depends injection, routing, navigation. I skipped the ACP client because this time we're going to use a socket setup instead, using the Firebase setup, and, and we're going to get real-time data from that, but we might need an ACP client later, maybe we'll get into that if you want me to. We're going to work with components, templates, everything that you need to build an Angular app from scratch. And again, as always, I want to do this in a context. And that's kind of why I picked to kind of try and do this um, this application right here that, that Trin talks about, where we're going to make this a headdress saloon. So that's kind of what we're going to do with Angular. Now, I'm going to use Firebase as the back end, and I'm going to try and show you guys all the features we have available in Firebase and all the help you're getting from Firebase to build an app really, really quick and we can get really far with not a lot of time. We can prototype with it. You can even start actually using it for production code. We're going to deploy our application on Firebase. We're going to use Firebase for storing files, for storing data, for actually working with function to make maybe microservices or something similar. And we're going to also use Firebase for authentication. So Firebase is going to be our main uh, part of the application that's going to be the root and the heart of the application in this case. Uh, where Angular just is going to be a front end for that heart of the application. Now we're also going to talk about NGXS because maybe I don't need to go to Firebase to get data all the time. Maybe I can store the data locally and that's kind of what the state management is all about and I'll show you a bit about that as well when we go into some more advanced features in Angular. I'm also going to dive more into observables, how to use pipes, how to uh, actually work with things like um, different request types where we can do maps, we can Maybe we can map the data because the data we'll get from Firebase might not be the way we want it. We can send it through a pipe. We can map it into something different, more object-oriented data, right? So that's going to be the start. That's going to be kind of the, the, the start of my application right here. And then I want to kind of expand on this. I picked Angular again because I'm strong in Angular now. I've worked with Angular for a long time. But I know there are things like React. I know there's Vue. I know there are other application uh, frameworks out there that are just as strong. And just to kind of prove to you that I have nothing against React, I have nothing against Facebook, I'm going to try and actually use Oculus, which is Facebook's uh, way of creating VR. And I'm going to work with Quest right here to kind of get the data that we're going to store in our Firebase application and present them somehow in the Quest, okay? So we're going to try and do that. And that will mean I'll have to figure out working with Unity, how can I communicate with Firebase to get some data and how can we then represent that data in some kind of quest application. It's going to be tough, but we're going to have some fun with that. But we're not going to stop there. I wanna build something even crazier. Now this is way out of scope. This is way out of scope of what Trina asked me to build, but I wanna just keep building on it and I wanna make some kind of system using a pie where she can maybe, when a customer is, is satisfied with the treatment, she can click a button and it'll kind of light up a lamp maybe saying the customer is um, can leave now and she's ready for a new customer. Maybe for a huge uh, hairdresser saloon later that would make sense. So you can see the green light and then you can just go to the, cost, uh, to the hairdresser that has a green light. So that means she's ready for the next customer, right? We're also going to make something like a time management system there. So when she clicks it, it'll kind of save into Firebase that the customer has now completed the treatment and, uh, and she's now ready for a new one, but she can also manage her, ma her hours. So she knows that this customer took 20 minutes, the next customer takes maybe one hour because there's another treatment. And you kind of have a statistic in there with this setup as well. 
I know there's a lot of work. So again, we're going to have to figure out how, to, how the Pi can talk together with Firebase to kind of manage some data. That's the series we're going to build. It's going to take a lot of time. Hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. And I know there's a lot of stuff going on, but hopefully as always, you end up with getting at least something from this series right here. And you can just, I'll try and give it good titles so you can kind of pick from it what you want to check out. The next step will be to kind of do a small drawing that can explain everything I just told you right here in some kind of diagram. So let's end it right here and see you next time. I'll try and explain the actual system. I hope I can end up with if I have the time. See you next time. Have fun.